Yeah, there sure is. Uh, his theme is generations. So, Jack, you said you've kind yes. of organized this by decade. Yes, I did. Okay, so walk us through that. Okay, what we have, we have uh, tinsel characters that will take us to like the 2000s, wireframes, uh, characters, the wireframe gear in the 80s. For the 70s, we have the blow molds, which is my generation. Okay, a blow mold. What's a blow mold? Those uh, are the plastic, uh, toy back soldiers toys, back here. Toy soldiers and okay. Santa Clauses. Uh, for one of the greatest decades uh, or uh, generations, in my opinion, is that vintage classic movie that we yeah. talked about earlier, which is the uh, the garage. That is in your garage. Yeah, yeah. this is really like 50s, 60s, 50s, the, 60s. the vintage storefronts. Correct. And this used to be a garage. Now it's a vintage storefront. This year, his display has expanded into the backyard. So we are going to head... Dun, 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 dun to the North Pole. He's got a sign directing us to show us the way. And you've lined some hay down on the bottom. Absolutely. We're going through these hoops. So talk us through what we we're seeing. A, we have a candy land type of play area, you know, with, <laughs> with, the, with the candies. Uh, the tin soldiers allow us in. And this seven foot deer I got two days ago. And believe it or not, Santa Claus gave them to me. Oh my gosh. And this is not just a, a deer head, this, this stuff. That's the full body. <laughs> that is 150 pounds of, of loving deer right there. Wow. They talk about a stuffed built, animal. Built the stable yesterday just to give them a home and a place to go to. We added the lights on the house two Saturdays ago to illuminate this a little bit better. And you're getting about 600 visitors every weekend, and you're encouraging yes. them to get out of the car, yes. come on, come for a walk. And then at the backyard here, this is new this year, the first time you've added these Correct. elements. Yes. So this is really cool. What is inspiring the expansion? It's getting bigger and bigger every year. Inspiring the expansion, this is something that I've always liked seeing when I was a kid too, you know, when we would go Christmas uh, light sightseeing. When my kids, when my, my oldest were younger and even my youngest, you know, we would look at lights and go, oh my gosh, that is great. And back here, I thought, you know, I have a decent backyard size. Yeah. Why don't I start this? And you're running out of room in the front. I'm running out of room <laughs> in the front. All right, so if somebody wants to come by and check out your house and yes. see your display this weekend, where do they come? They will come to 31530 Sean Drive in Warren, Michigan, east of Shaner, south of Masonic. Okay, and you're actually not too far from a bunch of other homes with lights as well. So Correct. this is a good neighborhood to come. Absolutely. We have Eiffel Street, which is awesome. There's 24 houses with arches and multiple houses that are decorated over there. Yeah. Well. All right. So this yeah. is a good spot to come. And thank you so much. Oh, we so appreciate you, so you sharing with us and yes. sharing your story and your passion for Christmas and the holiday lights. It's contagious and new. It brightens up your day, even if you're not putting up all the decorations to come and see uh, people like Jack who are. It really does help make the holiday a little brighter. Back yeah, to you. It does. And it's nice. It's not just about driving by to check this out. He's encouraging you to to get out and, and take a walk through that area. So very nice, Jen. Thank you so much.